How to find common denominator to add fractions? So we have three fractions here to add. One is 1 over 4 plus 1 over 6. The other one is 3 over 8 plus 5 over 12. And then 2 over 15 plus 5 over 6. Now to add fractions, we should, we should have same denominators. Now in the first example, the denominator is 4 and 6. They are not equal. Now to make them equal, we can multiply 4 by 6 and get 24. And we can multiply 6 by 4 to get 24. And make the common denominator and then add them. But the idea is that if I do that, then I make 24, which is a big number. Can I make a lower common denominator? That is the question. That means we are trying to find least common denominator. So how to make least common denominator? Now to find least common denominator, we can do factoring and you can also look into how we find least common multiple. That helps to find least common denominator. And I will show you how. For example, 4 and 6. So if we do repeated division, which we call the method of ladder division, then you can find least common denominator. Let's write the numbers 4 and 6. And you see, 2 is common between them. So if we factor out 2 out of these, then we get lower numbers. So 4 divided by 2 is 2, and 6 divided by 2 is 3. Now if I multiply 2 times 2 times 3, what do I get? 2 times 2 is 4 and 4 times 3 is 12. So 12 is the least common denominator for this fraction. Right? Similarly, we can adopt this method for the second one also. Here, the denominators are 8 and 12. Let's try to factor the common factors. So here we have 8 and 12. We can divide both by 4. What do we get? 4 times 2 is 8. 4 times 3 is 12. So the least common denominator here will be 4 times 2 times 3. So 4 times 2 is 8. 8 times 3 is 24. So in this case, 24 is the least common denominator. Do you get it? Not 8 times 12. 8 times 12 will also be a common denominator, but will not be least. But 8 times 12 is 96. That will give us very big numbers. Similarly, we can adopt this method to find least common denominator for 15 and 6. I'll leave that for you to do, right? Practice that. Now, once we have found least common denominator, then how to add the fractions? I will show you how to add 3 over 8 plus 5 over 12. Let's do that one. 3 over 8 plus 5 over 12. Now what we found, 8 and 12 has least common denominator of 24. Now how can I make denominators as 24? Well, 8 is 4 times 2, right? If I multiply by 3, I get 24. And 12 is 4 times 3. If I multiply by 2, I get 24. So that is how we can make it, right? So let's do this part. So we have 3 over 8 plus 5 over 12. And what we need to do now is make common denominator. So we multiply both numerator and denominator by 2. So 12 times 2 is 24. In this case, by 3. 3 times 8 is 24, right? And then we write down, so this is equal to the fraction given to us. Now we can write this as 24 and 3 times 3 is 9 plus 5 times 2 is 10 over 24. These are equivalent fractions, correct? Since we multiplied by same number in numerator and denominator. Now we can add them since their denominators are common. So we get 19 over 24 as our answer. Do you see the steps followed? Follow these steps and try to add 1 over 4 plus 1 over 6 and 2 over 15 plus 5 over 6. I hope you understand the technique and you'll enjoy adding fractions now onwards. Thank you.